Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a patron. This is a short video to explain what Expo is and help you set it up on your Radio Master Zero radio. So that now, if, if you don't understand what Expo is, if you're a beginner, it's when the center part of the stick is smoothed out. So in other words, proportionally, it doesn't move as far as it would if you put the stick right to the edge. And this makes the your model aeroplane more um, easier to control. It is not, we don't use this for drones, we only use this for fixed wings. So let's switch over to HTX Companion and have a look, and then we'll go to the radio and I'll show you the settings on the radio. I've opened up my latest backup for the Zora radio, so now we're going to click on this window and say add a model. We're going to call it Expo. Okay, whoops, Expo. And it's a plane, we're just going to go next, and I'm just going to default everything. And click OK, and finish. Right, if I double click this model now. Okay, we're going to go to the inputs. Now, we can put Expo in on our aileron elevator, we normally put it on the throttle, that'd be unusual, and then the rudder. So if we double click and bring the window up, you can see We've got the curve here is diff, so we can change that to expo, and now we can put an expo value in. So we could say, I'm going to exaggerate this and put 100 in there, and say so, okay. I would normally set that up for 25. Here we go, okay. Now let's demonstrate this, let's simulate it. Okay, hit the model key. We're going to go across till we get to the inputs. Edit. And now if we move the stick, you'll see the center part there, nothing's happening. The control surface wouldn't be moving until we go further over and then the last bit it will shoot up. So that is smoothing out the center of the control surface as you can clearly see there. We're going to switch over to the radio and I'll show you on the radio. So if I close this, so we can go back into the aileron and we, we select the curve as Expo and we put our value in. So that would normally be 25. That's what I use. Let's simulate it and hit the model key. We're going to go across until we get to the aileron and you can see the Expo there. Can hit so the enter button and we're going to edit and now you can see the, uh, the curve is a lot less. Uh, there we go, let's switch over to the radio. First thing we're going to do is set up a new model. Let's push the model key, go down to a spare slot, push enter and then click create. Okay, now we're going to move across and we're going to go to our inputs. Now we can put we obviously, we wouldn't put Expo on our throttle, but we can do it on aileron, elevator, and rudder. Now we're gonna push enter on the aileron input and edit. Now, all we need to do is go down to the curve Expo, go across, and now we can put our setting in it. I want you to watch the line here. You can see we've got a linear control. It's completely linear, proportional to where the position of the stick is. Now, if we change this, I'm going to exaggerate this because normally I put this percentage on, about 25%, but I'm going to exaggerate it. And now you can see, if you look at the curve, the middle of the stick, nothing really happens until you move the stick quite over, then suddenly it will whiz up, it will go up. So that's what Expo does, it smooths out the centre part of the stick. That would be uh, over exaggerated so I would normally set this up for me personally for 25%. Now if we come out you can obviously set that up for your elevator and your rudder as well. So it's as uh, simple as that. Well I hope you found that useful and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you didn't give it a thumbs down. If you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, happy flying, bye for now.